The word of God in your life will never fail. It will never fail. His promises in your life shall never fail. If God says something, He confirms it. If He promises something, He fulfills the promises. The Lord has asked to talk to someone this moment. That some of you were being promised something from the Lord. And for some reason, it felt like there is a delay in the atmosphere. The Lord said he's going to meet, he's going to fulfill his promises in your life. Some of you, God fulfilled your promises. But it came with challenges. And you'll be asking the Lord, Father, you promised to do this for me. Now I'm faced with a lot of challenges. How am I going to do? The Lord said, those challenges are just there to strengthen you. If there are no challenges, you will not value the process. If there are no challenges, you will not evolve. If there are no challenges, you will not heal. If there are no challenges, you will not, you will not appreciate what you've got. So when the Lord has met your meet his promises in your, you know, answered his promises in your life, or he has already promised you and you're facing challenges, he said, Stay true to yourself. Stay true to yourself. He is willing and faithful to be with you. In any situation. He promised Sarah. That he was going to bless her. After a long wait. He blessed her. Even when the blessings came. He told Abraham. Go and offer Isaac as a sacrifice. Unto me. It was, it was challenging right. It was like. Lord, you blessed me, and then all of a sudden, it was a challenge. But Abraham knew that he needed to obey the Lord. And when he took Isaac for sacrifice, the Lord had to like answer him and said, No, do something else. Offer something else. So God is going to be challenging to test you. But he's not out to destroy you. Testing your faith to lift you. Abraham needed, needed, needed to be tested before he could become the father of many nations. He didn't just, just, just obtain the position without going through testing seasons. He asked for the Lord test him by allowing his wife to, to be barren for that long. And after the blessings, then came another test. The Lord said, please don't, do not even worry. Do not bother yourself. If you are going through situations right now, there is, there is there's supposed to be a process in something before you arrive at your promised land. There's supposed to be a process in something before you come out refined. Hallelujah. You are going through a process, a very hard process. But the end of it, you're going to, so, you, you're going to rejoice. You waited for the Lord to bless you, and then He blessed you, and then came, and then, and then came, and then, then and then came uh, um, te uh, more tests. You are asking yourself, but Lord, but what's going on? What's what's happening? What's happening? The Lord said, "Rejoice in whatever situation, because there are messages in whatever situation. There are lessons to learn, in whatever situation. By this, you evolve and move to higher height. By this, God, you know." qualifies you by this God knows that truly you are with him so allow the testing oh <laughs> it's like it's like it's, like it's just the moment of season of testing but God is bringing bringing this particular message in a different form and a different way for you to know that in whatever situation he is with you and he shall not allow you to perish no no 
It's just for him to, to qualify you more for something greater. That's on the way coming towards you. God bless you. I have been Emily. Faith is our vehicle. Love is our strength. See you in the next video.